Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm doing a little short video on another Ravel U-boat. This is the uh, Type 9 C, uh, 172nd scale for Ravel. I guess they're from Germany now. But uh, this is the little bit bigger brother to the Type 7. Um, very pretty model. Uh, Nicely done, lots of hull detail, um, deck detail is good, don't have all the parts on it, I just have basically got it to the point where I've got the hull painted and now I have to start adding all the sub-assemblies to it and then start weathering it. But uh, this is a big boy, it's uh, bigger than my little work area is, so I'm don't know how well it'll show up tonight, but we'll give it a go. Um, I think it measures out to be around 41 inches long. Um, very uh, highly detailed as far as I'm concerned, as far as a kit in the box goes. Uh, these kits are uh, probably... Uh, on eBay right now at the moment from some places as low as about a hundred to maybe a hundred and twenty dollars which seems to be somewhat reasonable. This one was um, a started kit so I was able to get it for a few dollars less. Um, that always makes me feel good. Uh, eventually put some crew figures on it. Uh, once the railings go on and the rigging goes on and the guns, it'll look much better. Uh, we'll probably do this in uh, the scheme that you see it in right now, as far as the paint goes. But then uh, all the rust and weathering and everything else will go on it. I'm not going to do it real heavy uh, like a lot of people do. I sort of like uh, I sort of like ships and stuff with uh, a light amount of rust or grime or dirt on them, um, not to go super heavy like they've been out to sea for six to eight months or something like that. Um, it just it just never did it before and haven't got used to making them that dirty. I like to put a little bit on them to show up the detail and the moldings and stuff like that. But uh, this model is uh, very, very nice. I, I Really like it a lot too. Uh, Ravel has seemed to hit a sweet spot with some submarine models. Um, I thought about building their uh, Gatto class submarine, but being 52 inches long, I don't even know if I could work on it on this table or not. Um, and then again, too, I can barely display this one. Where am I going to display that one? The overall. Oh, let's see if I can even spin it for you guys to to look at it. It gives you a little bit more there. Pardon the dust on it. I've been sanding on it and stuff and some other kits around it. Still got a few pieces back at the um, after the ship to put on. And uh, propellers and dive planes and some of the other stuff. fit was very nice. It went together very well. Um, not a lot of sanding on the hull seams, which is nice. And then the deck went on very easily. And let's see if I can brighten that up a bit down there. And um, so I'm really looking forward to being able to put more and more on to this one and uh, getting more and more of it done for everybody to take a look at. Would like to have gotten the, uh, Ravel did a version of it, the U505, which had the uh, larger conning tower with the anti-aircraft decks and stuff, but they've, as far as I know, only issued it one time. And uh, if you run across one on eBay, um, Man, does it get expensive. I don't even try. My only hope is, is that maybe I can, if 
find a uh, 3D model of the conning tower and print it out on my 3D machine printer and uh, do it that way or maybe find a clunker or a junker to take it off of. That seems to be my only uh, two options. The last two I've seen on eBay went well over $250, which is a little more than I want to spend. Uh, this thing's very beautiful. It wouldn't be a hard conversion to make it into a, a 505. Uh, they also make this U-boat in a uh, Type 9C with the Winter Garden and the in the larger conning tower, but the front of the hull is uh, notched out for the faster diving that they uh, used in the war to uh, help it submerge as fast as they could. And uh, I don't know if I really like that one or not. I don't think I do. It's, uh, I don't know. I mean, it just I just don't like the notch in the front hall uh, and the narrower uh, deck surface. But, uh, you know, from the side, you wouldn't notice it that much. But it would be nice to have the larger conning tower. Um, I think that version is just a little bit more expensive. There are some people on eBay that get these, and, and this particular one, I guess, is still in production, so they're not charging an arm and a leg for it. Um, the old um, Type 7C, the original U-boat by Ravel, uh, every once in a while you can find those on there at a reasonable price. But once again, you know, I... I just don't like to spend a lot of money on kits. They say the reason why model kits over the years have gone up so much money is the cost of oil. Well, I'm a machine designer and I've designed plastic, plastic molding machines and know a little bit about what plastic is made out of. And I'll tell you something. In this model here, oil, I, you don't have that much in it to raise the cost of something 10 or 15 or $20. That's just a lie from the producers. Uh, their major cost comes in the machining cost of the mold, not the cost of the plastic. Uh, when they went to China, they were able to get molds done for dirt cheap, but then you saw what happened. The China started taking the market away from them. Uh, some kits are uh, molded over in Europe uh, they're not as cheap as China, but they do, I think, sometimes just as good, if not better, job. And it, uh, they have come up with some really nice subjects over in the, I guess, the former Soviet bloc of countries that now make models. Um, and prices aren't too bad. I think maybe the day of when Tamaya ruled is maybe coming to an end because Tamaya still wants a premium for their kids. And I don't know if they're that much better than the stuff that's out there, the newer stuff. So we'll just have to wait and see how that turns out. But I thought you might get a kick out of this. Uh, hopefully soon I'll start weathering it and put it back on a video for y'all to see. Um, what is there something else I was going to say about this model, but um, can't remember what it was now. Something to do with one of the captains that was that had a U-boat of this particular type, very successful with it. But anyway, I'll look that back up and see what it is for the next video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. If you've liked what you've seen, please hit the like button. Maybe subscribe. Uh, you all have a good evening. Be safe. Thank you. Bye.